So I'm about to haul and review everything I've gotten since the beginning of quarantine. So since March, on this rainy, rainy day, we're just gonna sit here and talk about a whole bunch of makeup. I realize I low-key sound sick. I'm fine. Um, don't know why I have my morning voice. I've been doing stuff. I've been up for like two hours, but whatever. My name is Tori. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today, as I said, I am going to be talking about all of the makeup that has come into my life via gifts, via friends, via influencer, via me buying it um, since the beginning of the pandemic. So, I tried to get this in somewhat of a chronological order, but um, there's a couple stuff where I didn't write it on my confusing list because my list is confusing, and um, we're just going to jump into it. So the first thing to talk about is the Too Faced uh, Fruit Cocktail Blushes. This one is the first one I got. This is Cherry Bomb. Even though I was scared at first and intimidated because, you know, the color of paper versus this lovely shade of mauve, mauve maroon um, type shade. I'm a, little, I'm a little scared I was going to look on me because I know it's not intended for the pale. pale. Um... I really like it. It is nice. It is buildable. I don't like I'm so happy I decided to be ballsy and buy this color. Um and plus it smells like cherries and I love cherry. I have an addiction to cherries. I don't even eat cherries, but I love the smell of cherries and cherry flavored anything. I know it don't make sense. Then a giant elf haul. I finally I bought a lot of stuff from Elf in March. So I bought the e.l.f. Beauty Shield Primer. This is a 50 SPF primer with a universal tint. I've tried it a couple times. It kind of, uh, like, you can see it a little bit squirted on the cap. It's kind of disgusting. It kind of has the texture of a silicone pore filling primer. I don't know if even silicone is in this. Probably. Don't really know how I feel about it. I do. I didn't go to the beach a lot. So uh, I only went to the beach once. And didn't go outside so this one's a eh to be determined this however I do like this is the elf BB cream it also has 20 SPF but whatever in the shade fair it is a little orange so it's not true fair um, but it's a good BB cream it has a decent amount of coverage for being a BB cream which you know delightful next we have a uh, elf powder um, some of these items you will notice have been getting used. Um, some of them are even done. From this haul, I did purchase the e.l.f. Um, putty primer, and that is now completely finished. I forgot to pull it out to show you guys, but I've been working on some of this stuff. This is the, oh, what's it called? This is like just the finishing powder in Fair to Light. Very buildable. It's not sheer. It's a buildable face powder. I for only being three bucks i definitely will buy this again because um i mean yes the lid broke which i mean kind of annoying but like for only three bucks i can deal with a broken lid you know what i mean i did also buy the sheer tint finishing powder i've only tried this once um i'm gonna save it for more in the summer because that's when i'm most likely like i don't use full coverage stuff in the summer you know so Little Sheer Dude has not gotten too much love. I bought the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. I do really like this. My shade is Fair Beige. I don't know if it will replace my Makeup Revolution Concealer that I like a lot, but I do enjoy this. Next two mascaras. I have the vol Volume and Defining and then the Volume Plumping. The Volume Plumping I have completely finished and the volume defining both were also only three dollars and i will eventually when i need a new mascara repurchase it because for only three dollars and i enjoyed the volume it gave me a deal this i really enjoyed i bought the earth and ocean palette um i have not tried elf's eyeshadows since like 2008 when they had not even 2008 that's a little bit of an exaggeration but if y'all remember like the little ba black book that those are my first like eyeshadow palettes really um so going from that formula to this 
I do have a little beef with Tundra and Lagoon because they're like, they're not wet and wild glitters where it's Vaseline, but they're not super shock glitters from ColourPop. They're a weird in between. They kind of rhyme, but um, I really like this palette. I can't wait to pull it out again. Every time I do my stop my shop my stash, I want to pull it in, but I need to like stop myself a little bit. Abyss. Okay, we gotta talk about the navy because I'm a I'm a navy person. I feel like I gotta bring it up. The navy and abyss actually wasn't too bad. It's a good navy, buildable. That's what you know. I like to see, like to see. But yeah, I think this was like twelve or fifteen bucks. Not too bad. Not too shabby. And then the last thing from Elf was the oh what do you call their little glitter. They're, they're dupe of the glitter and glow, um, in Disco Queen. I have this currently in my stop, my stop, my shash. I can't speak today. I can't do S's today. I really enjoyed this. I would like to eventually get more colors of it, maybe like a champagne one so I could use it every day, but, um, it's not too shabby. I don't know if I would say it's a complete dupe for the Stila, but I do enjoy it and it does have the same applicator as the Stila. Next. I bought the Ofra highlighter um, with an Ofra X Nikki Tutorials highlighter in Cloud Nine. I understand why everyone likes Ofra now. I really did enjoy this. Um, I do want to pull it out again soon. The only issue with it is that um, it, it gets messy. It's very fragile, um, and I tend to drop stuff a lot. So besides it being a little fragile, honestly, like. I would get another one if if this be if this is like a 21 days of beauty thing again um, I will definitely pick up a, another one but uh, that was good I did buy a backup of my NYX control freak brow gel I'm currently panning this now I finally got to open my backup this is my go-to eyebrow gel it's only like I want to say six bucks, but I think they might have upped the price. NYX has slowly been up in their price, and same with e.l.f. So, um, I do enjoy it. Nice, cheap. La creme de la creme. Next, I have the AVH lip gloss in caramel. So, the deal with this was I bought it for my mom, and she ended up finding it too dark. My mom has been trying to get into lip gloss. She don't like it. I find it okay. It is very pigmented. It smells amazing. But um, for m personally, for me, it's also too opaque as a gloss. I don't really care for, for full coverage glosses. And also, I don't wear it a lot because I can't pair it with a lot of stuff. But um, good formula. I think I might have bought this in that same order. This is, an this is one of the items where I don't know where it goes on my list. Kendo Vegan Beauty. I bought the blush in Honeysuckle. I've never had a blush this color before. I like it. Good formula. Now that they kicked the anti-vaxxer out, I have no problem dropping a little coin to help support them. Um, even though it is low-key shady that they keep bringing out packaging that says her name on it. But um, I'm just not buying that stuff. But this blush, nice neutral, pink, adore it. Next, another palette. Lime Crime Venus Immortalis. So, I did a four looks, one palette video on this. This is the only grungy palette I own. Also the only palette I own that glows in the dark. I really like this. I feel like with this, they have improved their shimmer formula. Um, especially with the Venus 3, I have a little issue with two of the shimmers that get hard pan really easily. And this palette does not have that issue, which makes me very happy because I... I don't collect naked palettes, but for some reason I'm starting to collect all of these, like Pokemon. I don't, it's not on purpose. Like I'm not, I don't think about doing that. Next, I have an Essence Micro Precise Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Light Brown. So I bought this to try. It's one of those little, one of those little guys, you know, little, little. I really like these. Um... So since I actually really enjoyed this, I've been trying to use up my powder so I could just use these and fill in my brows and then that's all I need because I really just made them nice and simple. My eyebrows, like for example today, they're not filled in at all. My eyebrows for me don't need much. So if I could just use this and a, brow, a clear brow gel, make my life 100% easier. Next, I have two of the LA Girl 
shockwave neon eyeliners shout out to makeup by marlena for inspiring me to buy these um this one is fresh and this one is vivid yeah i really like these they are pigmented they stick in my waterline and that's what i i need i need that in my life you gotta stick to my waterline or get out you know what i mean um next i did have in march and april even though we're all over the joint um I did still receive Medusa's makeup, so during that time, the makeup products I received from them include the Disco Queen Lip Gloss in Funky Town. It's a very translucent pink lip gloss. I'm kind of okay with it because it's not that opaque, so I do like that. And that product and this product, the Liquid Lipstick in Strip Tease, both smell like, you know, that nice vanilla smell. So personally for me, love them um i wouldn't go out of my way and buy them but i'm happy i tried them and then i have some eye products from them so for the single shadows i have a glam rock shadow in rap city these shadows are big i wonder how deep they are um this pink is nice not typically something i would have purchased on my own but i'm not like i'm not mad about it i do like the shade and the formula is good and then i have a matte shadow from them in jamaica um, personally, I wish I didn't get just a typical cool tone matte brown. I understand why they gave it in the subscription box, but personally, I don't use cool tone browns that much. Jamaica, nice. It's a cool tone brown, so personally, I wouldn't ever rebuy that again, but like, dandy. Now, this one came in clutch. This is their eye dust in full moon. This is a, a dupe to a sugar pill loose pigment called Ghosted. Both of these shift from white to a pinky lavender uh, duochrome. So um, they're perfect. They're dupes of each other. And I'm happy that I got this one versus having to go find the sugar pill one that um, I think is limited edition. Pretty sure is limited edition. Next, I have a trio from Stila. I'm pretty sure I got this from a Marshalls. And these were like the fire trio or like bring the sun or whatever. We got Burnished Sienna, Follow the Sun, and Sunset Fire. I don't think I'm ever going to buy Stila's full size again because I don't think it's really worth it because they dry out real quick. But I do be liking these little mini guys. They do got a good formula. If the e.l.f. comes out with the e.l.f. line comes out with more colors, then maybe I'll switch to completely e.l.f. But for this time being, I still need some Stila's in my life. Next, we'll get these two more palettes out of the way. Um, if you haven't noticed... And you'll continue to notice, um, I've gone a little eye product crazy. So we have the Too Faced. This is the Pineapple Palette. Um, I do have the Razzle Dazzle one. And then I found this one in a Marshalls and picked it up for like seven bucks. Um, smells like pineapple. I do kind of like their scented stuff. I don't think it's too overpowering. Yeah, I haven't used this one as much because it is more neutral and it's a newer palette and i'm still trying to kick out some old shadows before the end of the year but i do really like their shimmer formulas recently and then next one i'm so happy i got this i got the Alyssa edwards palette so i was tempted by the palette because of like the two purple shades um this to me has the best abh formula i have found these shimmers that are in here great you can foil them. You don't really need to. They're not flaky. They're not like, like with a subculture palette, sometimes the shimmers are flaky because, you know, that whole situation with possibly two different formulas. And with the Carly Bible palette, the same thing. The shimmers are flaky. I always have to foil them, but then sometimes they don't want to be foiled. And it's, you know, it's, a, it's, a, I find it to be a pain, but this one I had no issues with. I really enjoy it. I actually have already started planning, you know, projects for next year. And I put a couple shades from this palette in because I want to be able to use this all the time because I kind of really like it. Um, and also, Alyssa Edwards is doing something for my school, which I'm like, okay. Okay, why not? Next, let's talk about Easter stuff. So for Easter, I don't get candy because one, I really shouldn't be eating it. And two, I'm actually lactose intolerant. Um, <laughs> I don't always abide by it though. So I, I asked for some cute little bunny palettes and, and another palette I'll show you after. So these were the iHeart Revolution, I'm pretty sure, palettes. This is the one in Fluffy. 
This one I don't like as much only because it's two mattes, but I have, the shimmers can work as mattes. Like I can put them in my crease and they look fine, which is great. Love it. Um, but look at those, they're so cute. Um, and also my rabbit recognizes that they're rabbits and will lick them. Like she'll lick the outside of the packaging. It's really cute. And then this one's licorice. And licorice at this, licorice has no mattes but the same thing the shimmers can work in the crease in the outer v i just i really like how they did these when they do their like cute little stupid gimmick palettes they do do them well and then the other thing i did get for easter was the mini tropics from natasha denoni so yes i purposely said it wrong <laughs> first time trying the formula not too shabby I do need to play with this more. It's currently in my shop, my stash, to like it more. I'm pretty sure I do like it. I'm, it's like, they're shimmers. Like, they're so, like, they're just, just, they're a whole different texture. Like, it's a whole different, whole different universe. So it does have me tempted to try her other smaller ones. I don't think I'm ever going to get a big one anytime soon just because I, oh, oh, you know, oh. You know, let's talk about some influencer stuff. So, started getting influencer. Haven't gotten any in like a month. <laughs> the first item I did get, I got um, two of the Becca Hydro Light Bombs. I gave one to my mom, but I got Dew. Like, I kept Dew and I gave her, I think it was like the clear one or whatever. These, someone said they smell like melon. And I see it now. I just thought of it as like a fruity scent. But they do be smelling like melon. Nice, nice closure. Um, I did enjoy this. The price is ridiculous for what it is. Um, $19 for a lip balm? No, thank you. Um, but it is decent. Then I got a ABH brow pen. I don't think I'm a brow pen person. I don't, I don't need it. It's just, I, like, I, I have decent brows. I don't need a brow pen. It's not really, and plus... It's very, I felt like it was very easy to get like block brows with this, which I mean, if that's what you want, go, go for it. Personally, I don't want that. So, um, for me, no. Um, I somehow got signed up for a Rimmel box. I don't, don't know how that happened, but I got a Rimmel box. I ended up getting a blush in third base that has shimmer in it. And then the bronzer they gave me. It is in 20 sunshine reeks of sunscreen and also has shimmer in it so besides the fact they gave me i somehow got picked for a non-cruelty free company no i i don't deal with shimmer bronzer like that i don't really mess with shimmer blush and the fact that that bronzer reeks of sunscreen i'm pretty sure i gave it like a one star I'm not putting sunscreen on my face in a bronzer. It's just, no, 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 no. And then the last thing from Influencer was from Milk. So they gave me a mini Hydro Grip Primer. Mine is actually almost done. I'm working on finishing it up. And then this item I did just finish up actually this morning, and that is the mini Hydro Grip Primer. Yeah, this is their mini size. Um, I don't like this at all. I don't know if it's supposed to be a setting spray, priming spray, because either way it leaves my face tacky. Um, sometimes with setting sprays, I just like to spray my face when I don't have makeup because it just, you know, well, rejuvenate, rejuvenation. I don't know why I couldn't, I still didn't say that word properly, but you know what I mean. Um, this just made my face sticky. I think it started to break me out. How I finished it up was I just started like spraying it as room spray because it smells like blue algae. Is that its intended purpose? No, but that's what I used it for. I don't, the pump is nice, but it's not, it's not it. Don't do it. Do not do it to yourself. I, I'm telling you, don't do it to yourself. Um, let's talk about some items that I haven't actually touched yet. First is a Essence Eyeliner Pen. It's waterproof. It's in the shade 01, so I think it's just black. I haven't tried this yet just because the eyeliner pen I'm currently using, it's on its last leg, but it's not. it hasn't kicked the bucket yet. So I have not tried this yet because I don't want to have two black eyeliners open at a time. 
And then I have an Urban Decay Mini Perversion Mascara just hidden away for when I need a new mascara. This will be the next one I open because it is the oldest one that isn't open. But um, I'm waiting for one of my other ones to be done. Next, do some indie stuff. So I made an order from Midas Cosmetics. I did buy lashes, but I'm not sharing the lashes here. But I bought pigments. So I bought the whole neon bundle. So far, the colors I have used include the neon purple, the neon pink, the neon yellow, the neon orange, the neon green, the neon red, and the neon red orange. Um, I really enjoy these. Um, I have not used the neon blue yet, which is this one over here, just because I haven't used it yet. Um, but I'm they're really helping me step out of my comfort zone and be a little bit more creative. Because I wanted to be more creative, I also bought two glitters to get over my fear of glitters. I'm paranoid that I am going to have a Temptalia situation and get glitter in my eye. Therefore, I want to know how to place them properly. So I have the glitter in rose, which is just a pink, and then good old Tinkerbell, which is a like light blue. So yeah, I have used rose before. I think they're great. I'm not too sure if the glitters are biodegradable, which I should have looked into at the time, but at the time I did not. I really do enjoy it. Um, next, another indie brand, Najee Cosmetics. So I did buy her lavender powder to try. Let's see if it still has the smell. It smells like tea. Like it really just be reminding me of tea. I don't know how to feel about it. Great coverage. I have used it a couple times and I will be needing to pull it in soon to use. And I think I will pan it next year. But there's something about it that smells a little, smells a little too natural. But I think it is all natural. I don't know. But anyway, with that order, I did get two eyeshadows. I actually got three, but the one got refunded. Um, <laughs> this is the shade Lily, just a really pretty pink. I love her shimmer formula. I love her eyeshadow formula so much. Um, and then I did get Electric. Electric. Boogie woogie. Um, sorry. <laughs> I really, I love these. Um, they're both... Well, I mean, the pink's not too new unique to my collection, but whenever I do need pink to go with um, my Pan That Palette or my Fifty Shades of Pink, I have been reaching for this one a lot. And then her mattes are just so good. Like, I never have to worry. Like, if I need a teal, a teal. If I need, like, that green and I'm in a rush, I just grab for that one. You know what I mean? I think I'm just going to start rapid fire grabbing stuff because it's getting to be a lot. I forgot. I also have some sugar pill stuff I bought uh, bitter melon. I bought hip tonic and then I bought Tokyo. I realized Tokyo doesn't have a sticker tight um, These were all Relief well, they were all launched like a two like almost two years ago um, But then they finally came out like a year later. So I finally bought them um, and then they decided to release 16 as a different color which um Makes me depressed, but that's a story for another day because apparently everyone else forgot that that's what 16 was supposed to look like. Very sad. Um, next, I have two things from Valerie. My homie Valerie. I love Valerie. Um, she came clutch. So I have a Colored Rain Smoke Stroll Palette. This makes me want to be creative. Like, I had so much fun when this was in my Shot My Stash reaching for this. Um, the mattes and the one shimmer that's in here are so, like, they're such good high quality. Another thing, don't have to worry about, you know, is this going to blend or is this not going to blend? I really, I really enjoy this formula. It does want me to look more into colored rain um, and buy more from them. And then Ace Beauty. So this was the Grandiose palette. This came into my life at the right time, too, because I was feeling these neutral tones that I love. So um, this has gotten some good use, and it's a great formula. Thanks again, Valerie. I really do. I was in, like, a color mood, but now all I've been wanting to buy is, like, neutral palettes, which is odd for me. Not the norm. 
and that is just icing on top of the cake. I ended up with a Kylie uh, Cosmetics highlighter. Someone wanted to do a swap on Depop, and I said, you know what? Sure. Get the naked mole rat out of my life, and I'll take something from you. So this is the Cotton Candy Cream Highlighter. Ironically enough, this is the only ever highlighter I wanted to buy from her, simply because it's called Cotton Candy. Cotton Candy and Cherry, same thing. If it got a cherry name, cherry packaging, I want it. It's just it's something in my brain. Basic champagne highlighter. The formula is eh, eh. It's okay. It's not the creme de la creme. It's not complete trash, but it could be better. Um, next, I did get the Sailor Moon and ColourPop collection. So, from that collection, um, I got the Cat Eyes Blush. This is a shimmer blush, but because this isn't a this isn't a like Barbie pink. This is kind of like a pinky coral. Um, very unique. I was like, you know what? It's got Luna's face pressed in it. The packaging is, you know, it got Luna. It moves. Um, very 90s. I love it. I don't care. <laughs> this kind of has an issue and I haven't seen anyone talking about it. So this is the Ultra Botted Lip in Usagi. It's starting to go off already. And it's not that old. And I have only put it on my lips probably four times. Like only four. But no one's talking about that. And I'm a diehard Sailor Moon fan. Like I just bought a Sailor Moon ramen bowl. Don't, don't ask me why. I just wanted it. Actually, I wanted it for mac and cheese. I ain't even going to use it for ramen. But like, it's smelling off. This collection... I think I got it the second launch date. I don't think I got it the first time. And the date I have written is June 20th. If it's smelling off already, ColourPop's really pushing out old crap. I'm just saying. Um, but I also did get the palettes because of course I did. Um, I know a lot of people hate this color story. The only beef I have is with um, the shade that's actually for Sailor's Moon's mother. Um, it's just, it's so it's weird like it's a it's not a super shock formula it's like they just took a hard pan of glitter and put it in like in, and it's such a pretty shade too but it just takes so much work to get the pigment off where it makes it not really the best but everything else about the palette is great it's just that one shade i don't get why they did that next another food another food another fruit duo um this is papaya peach because I love the cherry so much. I saw this one on sale. I think it was like five bucks. I was like, you know what? We're doing it. I don't have any coral blushes. Why not? Um, and I, like I said before, I really enjoy these. Loki also tempted to get the Papaya Pop palette. But I think they're already pulling it off the market. So I'm just going to have to find it on Marshalls. Next, I have a Becca highlighter in Lilac Geode. Also came from a Marshalls. I, oh my God, it's so pretty. I'm so happy I own this. I've wanted this for so long. Iconic. Um, I have some more old stuff to talk about before we get to some new items that like actually came into my life recently. Called Candy Lipstick in BB. They just released three new shades and I am going to pick one of these up. This is a great liquid lipstick formula for um, an indie company. It, yeah, it has a French vanilla type of smell. It is a UK, UK based company. Um, I haven't bought any other palettes yet just because the color story doesn't speak to me. But the color stories are unique. But, um, you know, support the indies. I somehow got a hard candy bronzer in my life. I think my mom bought me this in the shade Tropics. I have used it. I think I used it once or twice. Um, actually a nice glowy, nice glowy bronzer look. Um, but it's not, I don't want shimmer. I want the glow. You know what I mean? So, um. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Next, random stuff from Sephora. I bought on sale the Kendo Vegan Beauty Inkwell in Vampira. I wanted this for the longest time, but then I canceled her. And then this has been sitting in the sales section. And now that she's no longer a part of it, I bought it. And I actually really do like it. I love this color. Even though I could stab someone or pick my nose with this, you know. She's mad. I also bought the Liquid Lip Stick in Dagger. I don't have anything in gray. I wanted to see if I could pull this off. It was also on sale. I think this was only like five bucks. 
so now I can finally try gray. I did use it once and I actually really liked it. So we got some unique lip colors coming my way. I did buy finally the Milk Makeup Stamp. That's a star. I almost just hit myself in the face. I love this thing. I've wanted this for so long. And anytime my mom makes a post about me on Facebook recently, she keeps using the photo where I did pose with this on my face. And I just hope people don't think I got a face tattoo. <laughs> you know? Um, and then with that order, I did redeem some perks. So I got the Tatcha Soul Canvas. I use this once but I don't remember what I think about it to be honest and then I did get the Becca what are you the Hydra set this the, the wake and bake I don't remember what it's called <laughs> the powder that the Hydra mist powder there you go um I used this once didn't get that cooling sensation probably because it's a little tiny guy um but I am going to pan this soon because you know it's a little guy I did along the lines get the mini ABH Norvina palette this is a volume three once again cherries it's the cherries i do like this so far i don't really mess with the two glitters up top but i really do like the pressed pigment reds i really i really mess with those then the last two things i'm going to talk about before we talk and end about all the ulta stuff i have is i did go to a like cosmetic store that sells urban decay so i got a optical illusion on sale and then i got a backup for next for well really whenever i need it of the naked skin concealer in fair neutral so secure plus i haven't used this primer in so long but i know i enjoyed it but i didn't want to buy the full size because full price is, is expensive so um i got some coin off of this and that was great oh i lied there's one more thing from technically sephora i did buy a bundle it was like a trio of becca mini highlighters um, because of the value gave one to my friend and I kept for myself rose quartz Because look at the pink I got a problem with pink highlighters. I'm just noticing that now and then I also got vanilla quartz because um Pasty pasty. I think this one shifts to gold. I believe that's what love header had. Oh, I can't speak love heatherette said now everything from Ulta um, I've been a little auto crazy. There's been a lot of good deals. Um, some of this stuff is still from like, I think now we're talking about all the stuff I've bought from August on. So we're just going to go in a random order. I got the NYX Faux Black uh, Eyeliner in Burt Sienna. Really like these. Great in the waterline. I haven't used a NYX eyeliner in so long. I'm happy that they're still good. I got the NYX Sweet Cheeks Matte Blush in Bloom and Bloom and Bloom. My rabbit is really upset. I'm keeping her in there until I'm done um, because this has taken too long. Looks intimidating in the pan. Very sheer. You can blend it out. Um, it's actually kind of, it's kind of like creamy. Like it's not, like it's not a cream blush, but it's just so soft. I really want to try a like normal pink color in this range like in love with it next I have this essence blush in befitting I think I needed to hit 35 shipping so I threw this little guy in actually really great quality really like it next something I haven't used is the essence bye bye panda eyes uh, mascara I've just been wanting to try different mascaras recently. Um, I know my typical holy grails, but you know, I want to switch it up here and there. See what the, the drugstore options are because the drugstore mascaras half the time are better. And you know, you only use mascara for three months. So if you can save a lot of money, why not? Um, so I wanted to try this one instead of just getting the, you know, Lash Princess. Um, so I'll see you soon. Next, I did get a face powder, but I have not used it yet, but I'll probably be using it soon. And that says the Revolution Conceal and Define powder. You open this up, it comes with a puff. I haven't seen that in a while. And then it has this little open thing. Um, I got this as a backup for that e.l.f. powder that's pretty much almost done. Haven't used it yet. I'm just going to use this when the e.l.f. one is done. Next, I got some Tarte stuff. I think they were doing some type of deal. Um, I got a Tarte Mini Shape Tape. First time ever using Shape Tape. Not too shabby, but I don't... That's still a lot of money. Um, my Naked Concealer I prefer is cheaper than the Tarte Shape Tape. So, you know, 
And then I got a mini Tarte Found Sealer. Did not like this. I did use this up. It did not. It was too sticky. Just too sticky. And then I got a deluxe size sample of the Tarte Maracuja Tinted Hydrator. Really? It's called a hydrator? It's like a, it's like a BB cream. Um, I used it up. It wasn't anything too special. It, this was technically the wrong shade for me. This is 13N. I think I'm technically 8N. So um, I'm happy that this is done. Next, I have the NYX Vivid Brights in Vivid Fire. Yes, yeah, so this is a red liquid liner. I used the pink one up before, and then I got this one. Love these. Um, I don't think I would own multiple of these multiple of these at a time because obviously they're liquid eyeliners. They do dry out, but I do really like these. Next, I got a new mixer. I got the LA Girl uh, Pro Color Foundation Mixer in blue so I can make my orange foundations no longer be orange and match me so I can wear them all the time. So this has been a lifesaver recently. It's going to help me use up my last Wet n Wild foundation. Love it. Speaking of foundations, I bought the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation in light porcelain. This was on sale, so I finally was like, you know what, I'm going to buy it and try it. I like it. Matches me. So as I was saying, probably going to use this up next. Really enjoy it. The rest of this is going to have to go speed round because I'm running out of storage. So... I bought the Essence My Skin Perfecting Loose Powder in Fair. Um, I really like loose powders now. Wanted to try a cheap one. I've, I've used this once. I don't know how I feel about it yet. Next, I got a gift set of NYX products. One was a mini setting spray, which is over there. I didn't want to talk about setting sprays today. I got a mini finishing powder. I have used this before. You just have to watch for the white cast, but overall, not too shabby. Um, then I got a mini butter gloss. This is my first time trying one. This is in creme brulee. Not too shabby. I actually really enjoyed it. And then I got a mini pore filler. I haven't used pore filler in so long. I'm so happy that it's back in my life because this used to be my holy grail primer. So let's see if I still like it. I forgot to mention I haven't used it. Um, <laughs> Next, I bought two mini e.l.f. snap palettes. So, I got the um, Acai U. Actually, not too shabby. For $3, not too shabby. The pigment is buildable. Um, I heard in the UK, in some places, it's like $11. I don't think it's worth it at $11, but definitely at $3 mark, I would say it's worth it because it's buildable. If you could build it up, that's fine, honey. Um, and then the Hot Jalapeno. I really like this one. Um, these shimmers are definitely better in this one, I feel, because you can use them with a lot more stuff, but, um, I really enjoy both of these. Next, I got a sugar pill lipstick in Pillow Fight. Love sugar pill lipsticks formula. Love the little orange creamsicle smell and brings me, like, pure nostalgic, uh, memories. Love it. Next, I bought the NYX Suede in suede lipstick in canes um the other lipstick i have in this formula is like a teal so i wanted to get it in a neutral color because i really enjoy the formula a nice bullet lipstick next i bought a palette because of course this is the lime crime venus vivids palette i finally picked it up because this was this one wasn't selling well because i wonder why it has two yellow shimmers in it um so they put it on sale so all these palettes retail for 38 and this one was retailing for 25 so i snatched it up um i haven't tried all the shades yet but so far the mattes i have tried i enjoy i don't know how i feel about the two yellows in the palette um this yellow is a more yellow orange and this one is a yellow with green in it so it works is it ideal? Not really, but I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I can... I know this isn't a standalone palette, you know what I mean? I bought it knowing that. Let's just get all the rest of the lip products out of the way. I bought the Lime Crime Wet Cherry Gloss and Extra Poppin. Love it. Um, someone was talking to me about the smell before. It, it has a cherry scent, little medicinal, little not. Um, so take that with your preference. They are, they released a giant one for Christmas, which I'm tempted by, but I, you know, this isn't empty yet, so can't buy it. Um, but I do really like it. This e.l.f. lipstick, I forgot to mention with the e.l.f. stuff. This is Taffy. Taffy's also only like three bucks and it has great pigmentation. Feels nice on my lips, not drying. Love it. And then the last lip product is from I Heart Revolution vinyl cherry you wonder why i bought it it's cherries it was on sale 
and it's in the shade Cherry Bakewell. These remind me of the um, Lime Crime Plushies formula. Like, not a liquid lipstick, not a lip gloss. They're semi-opaque, low coverage. Um, they do dry down. I like it. I don't, this was on sale for $2.99 and it's a pretty mauve color. Don't know why would they would put it on sale for that, but whatever. Then the last two items. The last item, one of the last items is the Becca First Light Priming Filter. I tried a sample of, I tried a mini of this and I loved it. So I finally bought this one because um, I I don't know if it was on sale or if I had a, a coupon code to make it on sale, but I finally picked it up. Then this I 100% bought because it was on sale and this is the Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Foundation. This was on sale for like $25 instead of like $38. Hi, Rosie. Um, I'm in the shade LN1, the lightest shade, and I am proud to admit that I'm not this shade. I am LN2. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is actually a little too light for me. I kind of like that. Finally found a foundation that's too light for me. Um, so eventually I will repurchase the second neutral shade, light neutral shade, because obviously, like I said, this is too light for me. But um, I understand why people splurge on foundation now. I did not have to put concealer on the day I wore this. My skin looked great. Um, it did have a little problem after I wore my mask, but um, I only used it once and I so far so good. Um, once I use it more, I will probably throw it in a project pan to use it up completely. We'll talk about it more then, but so far so good. To be honest, an Ulta package is getting here today. So I'm just gonna jump to that clip and we'll, we'll do a little unboxing then. And I'm back. So, what just arrived in my possession is first an LA Girls Pro Matte Foundation in porcelain. Um, I like having a certain, certain amount of foundation on hand. And since I keep going through a lot of stuff at the moment, bought this. It was on sale. Good zo. And then I also finally bought the ColourPop Mascara in Left on Red. Because I was so tempted by having a bread mascara. This is what it looks like. I really like it. I'm not gonna open it yet till um, I wanna use it. Obviously, I don't know if I'll use it every day. I kinda could though. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I've been, who's ghosting who? That's what it says on it. Oh, cause left on red, ha 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 ha. Um, so yeah, really excited to try this. And then the other three things I got, was because of, if you didn't see, um, they did a one day only, all palettes you get 10 plus, 10 times the points. So, um, I bought three palettes. The first thing is the smallest. I bought the Bite Size Pumpkin Pie Palette because I like the um, Acai U and the um, Hot Jalapeno one so much. I was like, you know what? I, this is the only neutral one that really tempted me. Um, the other neutral ones were pretty, but I felt like I just had them. Um, so this is the, this this was the only one, the one I would have wanted. Um, it's not as orange as I would have thought. It is still pretty. I definitely will get used out of it. Um, but this was the first palette. The second palette is from I Love Revolution. Please don't eat the trash. My cat is, can you see her? kind of if you hear my stomach I'm so sorry I'm so hungry um this is the mini tasty avocado palette from I Heart Revolution it's this little guy I didn't expect it to be this tiny it's kind of fine that is this tiny because um it is a green palette I'm pretty sure um and why can't I think of her name Angelica Angelique why can't I think I'm pretty sure she reviewed this and I really liked her review I'm very tempted by it. I'm not into too many green palettes, but for some reason this one does speak to me. So, um, little avocado buddy. Then the other palette I got is from a brand I never tried their eyeshadow from, and that is the Essence Hey LA palette. As I opened it, my grandma was like, I want it. This is what it looks like. Um, so yeah, I just bought drugstore palettes because they've been in my, like, cart for save later for a while now. I figured if you're gonna give me 10 times the points, I ended up with like 189 points from this order. And this wasn't a relative, 
like this order was in total 43 bucks and I did use a little points so I made all the points back I used I used so tight that's all the makeup I've bought in since the beginning of the pandemic um, hopefully I'm not making any purchases anytime soon because um I bought a lot of eyeshadow and Christmas is coming and my Christmas list is all makeup almost all makeup there's a couple Funko Pops on there this probably does seem like a lot because looking at it now it does seem like a little too much um with the eyeshadows definitely too much I bought way too many palettes in uh, one time but here's 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 the thing um when it comes to the foundations and the powders and the primers and the mascaras I was being smart so I'm happy with that um but the lip products actually not too shabby compared to this time last year I was definitely when I still supported the naked mole rat I was buying way too many lipsticks um so I switched from you know buying from the naked mole rat to just now always being on Ulta and every once in a while Sephora I did say before um, I did put on my um Instagram that I am now Ulta Platinum which I'm fine with because I didn't want my points to keep expiring anymore um so now I do use Ulta. With this order, I bought deodorant. Like I buy normal stuff from Ulta. Um, I have to buy my conditioner again in like a couple weeks. I want to buy a sugar scrub because my skin is, my skin needs it. My hoo has need it really bad. Um, that's that's just an issue for another day. Um, so yeah, it does seem like a lot. Like I said before, some of it was gifts. Some of it was like gifts from my mom gifts from friends i don't know why i feel like i'm acting like how this was like a low buy or no buy um because the stuff that i did buy during my low buy we already we already we already talked about it we already discussed that stuff so um god i'm so excited to this palette just so cute anyway um this is this is how i feel about everything i've accumulated during the pandemic i would like to do normal hauls again soon but Tech, the next haul you'll probably see from me will be my typical Christmas and birthday haul. I hopefully aren't buying a lot of stuff in between then. Um, I want to start posting empty videos again to show y'all what's been happening. Because um, I haven't been doing that. So, thank you so much for watching. If you watched this and you watched all of this, if you did, leave an emoji down below. Anyone you like, I don't care. Um, but yeah, if you enjoy me and you enjoy makeup related videos, especially Project Pans, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and all that jazz. And peace out, Girl Scout.